Hey guys, Alicia here. Um, instead of uh, having a gaming video up for the day, I just thought about um, health. I guess you could say health problems, pros and cons. Um, as many people know that I I am overweight. I weighed when I when I first started this YouTube channel, I probably weighed over. 248 pounds, which was two years ago. Um, so I guess uh, I was really close to being a diabetic. So this is pretty much going to be a story of how, what's going on with my health. Um, I wanted to get away from the gaming videos, plus I don't have a gaming video available at the moment. So I decided to say, what the hell? Why not? Yay! Um... I've been, I, so I'm going to just give you a little background of how I've been big, or, yeah, big, fat, whatever, whatever you call it. Um, I've been big since I was two years old. My mom, she would always work, she would work a lot, so she wouldn't, she would be too tired to cook. So, I guess, like, probably two or three times out of the week we would go fast food or like um, if some people go to like a place called hometown buffet which I don't go to anymore it's yucky it's, it's actually quite disgusting um, Golden Corral yeah um, so yeah I've been overweight for all my life and since since then I guess the going to fast food kept progressing over the years so I would tend to gain more weight and be overweight than I should have been when I was a baby or a kid. When um, I started going to elementary school a little bit afterwards, I noticed something. I was one of the biggest kids out of the class compared to the others. I didn't really think about it at first because um, I just wanted to fit in and be friends with others. Um, so, it's, it's a bit saddening to even think about, uh, but over the years throughout elementary school, I've, I've been picked on, I've been picked on, bullied, because I was over, or I am overweight, I was overweight when I was little, it started happening when I was about in fourth or fifth grade. I did have friends to help me out to get through the rough day without being bullied, without crying. And teachers too. I would sometimes tell the teachers and I'm, I don't remember if they did anything. So I would tell them and and I just go on with the rest of my day. The overweight situation progressed a lot more in 7th and 8th grade. I remember people were picking on me because I was bigger than the other girls. I wasn't thin or slim. I didn't have big boobs yet. I mean, some girls started getting their big chests when they were fucking 14 or 15 years old. I don't I don't know. 12, 13, whatever. Uh I would get made fun of because I didn't have big boobs. I had a big gut and I I was just big in general and I I became a social outcast because of that reason. I didn't trust anybody. But then I started making friends, I think, through part of a little bit through seventh grade and mostly through eighth grade. I started making friends because of that. Uh, I started making friends, not because of that, because they liked me for who I was. And then I lost most of those friends in high school because they were taking sides. And it doesn't really matter anymore. Um, I remember in 8th grade I was made, made fun of a lot. I even had a death threat once. It sucked. I didn't tell anybody about that, but I did have a death threat saying I should kill myself for being fat. And, um, I remember during lunch, sometimes I would get food. People would stare at me repeatedly just because I got something that they can have. And they were laughing at me because I had a fattening, fattening substance food. And I, I got scared. I got scared because of it. There was also a time in 8th grade where P 
people were asking me if I had a boyfriend and I would tell them no and they would laugh and they would ask me if I want one and then they would laugh and then just walk away. I didn't understand that at all. I mean, what? why? Why would the hell would you do that? What kind of a fucking person are you? Um, and then, right when I hit freshman year, I had a pretty big breakdown. I ended up stopped being friends with my best friend in ninth grade because there was this boy I liked and I didn't really know about dating because I never dated. And so I... I asked her if I can have her ex-boyfriend's phone number. I didn't know anything about this back then. Uh, and I was, so I was being stupid. And she got mad at me. And we had a very long friendship since 7th grade. She was really sweet. Um, we're friends again. Which I, I really appreciate. Um, and then... At the end of the year in ninth grade, freshman year... I had another big breakdown, not just because of that, but because people were making fun of me. A lot. People were calling me fat. This girl in 8th grade would um, stop by to see me every morning and ask me, and I, if I remember this correctly, I'm putting quotes around this. Hey fatty, how's your morning? <laughs> um, then she would stop by lunch at times, she would remember me. And she would do the same thing. And she would almost want to start a fight with me because I was trying to stand up for myself or ignore her. Yeah, that's that's what happened uh, in freshman year. In sophomore year and down, it started to decline. Probably because I was still a social, sort of a social outcast. Then I met a couple more people that I consider my closest friends. They were really sweet to me. Um, I was considered the mom of the group uh, because I would like to make sure we didn't get in trouble and stuff like that. Um, at the end of the year, or high school, senior year, I noticed that I, I haven't changed since seventh grade. So I decided to say, hell with it, I want to try something new. I want to try and lose weight. So I I tried. Didn't really work. It's not easy to exercise, lose weight, and go on a diet. It's not easy at all. And one of the worst things to ever do to yourself is starve yourself. That would really kill the muscles in your body. It would kill the fat, but then it would kill the muscles, and then it would turn to fat, from what I believe. No, that's not correct. But anyway... Uh, I, I started swimming after graduation, when it came to summer, I started to say what the hell and start swimming so I could try to lose weight. It didn't really work out necessarily because I only probably lost a pound every week, which is good. You're supposed to lose a pound every week, which is considered the healthy side. Um, this past year since 2013, summer of 2013, um, uh, my grandma signed me up to go to the gym, and I have. I've gone to the gym most of the year, and I try, I try considering that my schedule is always busy for school and classes, I try to go to the gym. Um, I noticed that when I was at the gym, there are a lot of other big people too, and I felt sort of welcomed. There's another problem regarding of this, too. When people try to go to the gym... Sorry about that. When people try to go to the gym... Um, or overweight people... They try to go to the gym... Um, some people probably question... Why do you go to the gym if you're so big? Why not just keep eating? Or other people say... What's the point of making fun of the people... When they're trying their best to lose weight? And that's a good point. And I, I like that. Um, so I've been mostly of a, I consider myself a social outcast for most of my life, and I've been bullied most of my life because of my weight issue. I mean, I've, I was hit over the head by a girl in middle school, um, cause she was 
picking on me for God knows why, and I didn't do shit. And because of that, I, ever since then, I guess I felt more distant from people. I mean, I try my best to help support others, but I, I don't, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I mean, there's also a lot of issues regarding of losing weight. I mean, you can, um, it, 60 pounds, you try and lose 60 pounds, you try and lose 50, 10, or even 1 pound, or even 5 pounds, and it, it's really good. I give you major kudos for that. Um, what, what's, uh, only thing that sucks is that, <laughs> and it's typical for some people, like, for overweight people. You try, you see cute clothes and there's just obviously not enough for overweight women or men. Not cute ones or handsome looking clothes. So, I, I don't know. I don't know where I was going from that. But, lately I've been using this product called Garcinia Cambogia. I've read so many articles and reviews regarding of the pills. It helps you burn fat. I mean, you can you can eat it says you can eat whatever whatever you want but it's not necessarily like that you have to still eat healthy and stay fit or be um loot or exercising to use the substance um so i've been using garcinia cambogia since september of this year and before that i have been ex i was exercising daily but because of school, I mean, I just have been lagging on that. And the substances have really helped my appetites. I haven't been hungry as much as I used to be. Um, when I started exercising, I had a re... I started exercising again this summer. But ever since I went to VidCon, I started eating fatty foods again. And I went with my grandma to Oregon to help her with something. And I started eating fatty foods there too. Like uh, fast food or sugary foods, whatever. Um, I started exercising after VidCon, and, uh, I restarted my goal, restarted my weight loss thing, which I, when I started, I weighed 246 pounds. Now, it's almost December, and I, since then, I have lost about 33, 30, no, 34. 34 or 5, 34 or 5 pounds, and yeah, it's it's been a cool ch uh, thing to do, I mean, it's great that I want to try to lose weight, um, it just depends on what I do for the day and what I eat, I know this story is going freaking everywhere, it's like, what's your point, what's your point of this video, my point is, try to exercise, uh, don't overdo it, don't overeat, I mean, I, I've heard people say, um, or even from, uh, Megan Trainer, uh, from All About That Base, her, there's a lyric in there, every inch of you is perfect from the bottom to the top. That's great. That's amazing. You I mean, you give women and men confidence out in the world. But, it's not necessarily perfect if you're too thin or too overweight and you have to stay healthy. According to the doctors, you have to be at the certain spots to be healthy. I mean, I do believe that every um, woman and man out there that are too skinny, too overweight, are perfect. They're they're beautiful. It's just that you just also gotta keep yourself healthy if you want to live longer. So that's what I'm going. I, that's what I want to try to do. I was at the verge of being a diabetic. Most of my mom's side of the family are type 2 diabetics and I am not thankfully I have never been a diabetic borderline I was close I was getting close to that limit but I wasn't so I think that's why I'm tr also trying to help out my mom too and I I guess I gave her and some other people some inspiration because I've lost weight is a big factor in life but I don't, I don't know there's absolutely no point except for just stay healthy, try to eat healthy, try your best if you need to take a break, 
go ahead, just don't overdo it. Um, uh, I think that's about it. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be talked about regarding bullying, over weight issues, etc. But uh, there's a lot of pros and cons to this, and I'm pretty sure I just did probably some, maybe. I don't know. So yeah, that was it. <laughs> and I'm glad to have the family and friends I have now that support me 100%. I really appreciate it. It's not easy. Sorry. Ugh, yeah. Crying a bit. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. These are happy tears, by the way. These are happy tears. Ugh. <laughs> I don't think I've cried this much on camera before. Oh shit. Um, just try your best to be healthy. Try your best to have, um, uh, enough something. I, I don't know. I just got a brain fart. But just, just try to stay fit and healthy if you can. And live your life if you want. It's up to you. Live your life as much as you can while it's there. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I keep blanking out because there's so much I want to say, but it's not enough time. So, people that have watched this, you can see my freakish red nose and my pink lips. Sorry about that. Um, I really appreciate the people that have supported me behind this whole weight loss issue. Some people don't know about the whole Garcinia thing until I told them now. And I do exercise every sort of every day by walking. I, I know that's not enough, but it's something. It's not as much as I used to do. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I know this was just a rambling video, but I just wanted to get away from the gaming videos for a bit and just talk about this. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you soon, okay? You're all beautiful out there. Bye.